Am I the asshole? For not leaving the bathroom when a child needed it. Hey everybody. This sounds kind of stupid to me but maybe my perspective is wrong. My friend roommate M30s who we can call Kevin has an 11 year old daughter who we can call Rachel. For context purposes. She has no physical disabilities or bladder control issues. She doesn't live with us full time but she does come every other weekend and on some weekends for visitation. Every time she does. She's always expecting people to do a lot of stuff for her that she could do herself such as my dad. Will carry my stuff get my drinks plate my food give me some of his drink food after I finished. Mine because he loves me. This came to the point where Kevin actually finally told her last night that she can stop coloring for long enough to get her own water. We live in a two-bedroom apartment with one bathroom. When I F20s went in this morning to brush my teeth, Rachel came over and said she needed to use the bathroom I told her to wait and that she can't try to kick me out every time she wants to pee this was at least the fourth time she's done so this weekend. Kevin tried to tell me that I should leave so that she can use the bathroom because using the toilet takes priority over everything else. To be clear, she came in while I was already in the process and not asking once she saw me. She waited for a maximum of two and a half minutes. Once I was out, Kevin and I had a brief discussion in which he expressed that he felt it was inappropriate for me to make either him or Rachel wait when I was not physically using the toilet. My stance is that if someone is doing a short task, they are there first, and it is not an emergency. They should wait their turn. This seemed to be the common rule of shared bathrooms to me. But maybe I was wrong. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You were there first. It wasn't an emergency. She has done this before a handful of times. And brushing your teeth is a short task. So she wouldn't have to wait long. Whether or not she had an emergency. I. Myself. And everyone else in my household have to abide by this rule too. Unless it is an emergency. So it's nothing major here to cause a problem. You're not the asshole. Kevin and Rachel need to learn that the world does not revolve around her. I told her to wait and that she can't try to kick me out every time she wants to pee this was at least the fourth time she's done so this weekend. Funny how her urgent need to use the toilet seems connected to you already being in the bathroom. Sounds like she just gets a kick out of bossing people around. Additional information that a friend of mine thought that it was important to mention I was. Already in the process of brushing my teeth when she came over and asked me to leave. She said that she didn't have to go badly but she did notice that she had to go when she heard me. Going in. When you use the bathroom. Close the door. Not their business what you are doing in there. Lock it for good measure. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If she were a three-year-old in the midst of potty training. It'd be different. She's old enough to wait a few minutes. Nope. Time to learn respect. Manners. Go in bathroom and shut and lock door. If they knock tell them you're using the bathroom and will be out as soon as you're done. If they keep knocking tell them to EF off and quit being rude. When you're done. Flush toilet and wash hands and leave. And no it doesn't matter if you are actually using the toilet. Not the asshole. Not the asshole my five-year-old knows to wait for the bathroom. We have five people and one bathroom. The child needs to learn. Should have learned already. So does her father. Here's a flowchart for you. Ask her is it an emergency? Yes come on in. I'll finish brushing my teeth in the hallway. No I'll be done in a minute. You don't need the little girl to soil herself. In Ta, ATP she's basically a third roommate who's not paying rent. She's trying to flex on you. Time to practice bladder control. 
Not the asshole but a good rule of thumb when going to use the bathroom ask the household if anyone needs to use the toilet. We did this growing up with three people sharing one bathroom. I do this now even sharing a bathroom with one kid. Four times in one weekend? At this point she's definitely doing it on purpose for attention to be a brat. Kevin is doing that child no favors. You're not the asshole. Did she pee herself? I'm edging with not the asshole. With the caveat that she doesn't have some sort of UTI or cystitis type thing going on that means. She's triggered by taps running and needs to pee frequently been there. Not fun. In ta she and him can hold it. If he doesn't like it then he needs to get his own place. Do the same to to them get out of the shower cuz the toilet takes precedence. Your roommate probably gets sick of you banging on the door. Not the asshole. Honestly I would get a new roommate. His daughter's behaviors are too much to handle. I would look for someone child free. Not the asshole unless it's an emergency. This little girl is yanking her dad's anyone else's who happens to be around. Dad better do a reality s creating a monster. She's a brat. Not the asshole. She did this four or more times over the course of a weekend. That's just her being a jerk. Is she familiar with the boy that cried wolf? One time she's going to actually have a bathroom emergency and no one is going to believe her. If she noticed she had to go when you went in. She should have ran out and said hey before you brush your teeth. Do you mind if I pee really quickly? Not mid brushing walking in and demanding you give up the bathroom immediately. She sounds like she needs to learn that the world doesn't revolve around her. Not the asshole. It's fascinating that she always needs to use the bathroom as soon as you are using the bathroom. She's manipulative. Plain and simple and she's pushing boundaries to see how far she can go. Lock the door from now on. Not the asshole. She's being a weird little control freak. Not the asshole. You were in the bathroom first and doing a task that takes a couple of minutes at max. She needs to learn that she has to wait and her dad needs to make it clear she can't force you to do things for her. You're not her parent or guardian. She sounds a bit sly. Like she's doing this on purpose. Whether that's true or not. Not the asshole. Time to move out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole make sure you close the door and lock it when you are in there. Not the asshole time for the kid to learn manners and how to behave in society. Not the asshole, the girl could wait a minute for you to finish. Not the asshole. You are using the bathroom. They can damn well learn to wait. 11 years old isn't a toddler with potty issues. Or shouldn't be. Not the asshole. You were there first. It's simple. If Rachel thinks that she can just get into the bathroom regardless of who's there already then. She's in for a rude awakening when she learns about public bathrooms. Not the asshole. Except in emergencies. Bathrooms are first come first serve. If you were doing something that could be done outside of the bathroom. Or something time consuming. Fair enough. But you were brushing your teeth. It's not a long wait. The kid needs to learn that the world does not revolve around her. Her dad apparently needs to learn the same thing. You were there first. Brushing your teeth. And it wasn't an emergency. The kid can wait. Simple as that. Not the asshole. Unless she was close to losing bladder control there's no reason she can't wait two minutes for someone else who was in the bathroom first to finish what they're doing. Not the asshole. I have a potty training toddler that can only hold his pee for like 10 seconds and I still wouldn't expect people to run out for him. He is my child. My responsibility. If I shared living quarters or was in public, then that's just something we charge to the game. The world doesn't revolve around me and my personal needs and I think a lot of people are not. 
teaching their children the 